Hiya. I was thinking about my friend Artie today. I don't know why I was thinking about him, but he kind of popped into my brain. He made his way in there. And so he's in there for a while. Him and I used to work uh, a real crappy job on a railroad. It was three afternoons, nights on the weekend, Monday, Tuesday off, you know. But working with a guy like Artie kind of makes it bearable, makes it more than bearable, makes it enjoyable to come to work. Anytime we would be in his car, like if we're going for a quit or going for lunch or something, you know, he would put this song on, on a CD or a tape, and uh, he would play it, and then he would introduce it to you like it's the first time you ever heard it. Never mind, you heard it a thousand other times in his car. Ooh, 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 check this out. You ever hear it? It's great. Song. If you tried to talk to him, he would shush you. Ooh, shush, shush. I'm listening to the song. Here comes the good part. Come on. Crossing the highway late one night. He didn't look left, didn't look right. He didn't see the station wagon car. Skunk got squashed. They are. You got your dead skunk in the middle of the road. Dead skunk. Take a whip on me, that ain't no rose. Roll up your window and hold your nose. You don't have to look, you don't have to see. You can feel it in your old factory. You got your dead skunk in the middle of the road. Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Got your dead skunk in the middle of the road. Stick high heaven. Artie's got like an unusual, uh, cute, quirky, I don't know really, I, I don't know what it is. He's, you know, everybody has friends, and uh, I got enough friends. I got friends that I like enjoy their company and they enjoy mine. You like seeing them and talking to them and all. But Artie, you know, he has all of that. He has all of that shit down cold, but he's got that little extra twist, a little curveball on his personality that I couldn't name you hundred guys at least, easily, that more than just like them, they actually love this man, you know. Having a conversation with him is a real treat. He has a couple of hundred little stock Ari sayings. They're somewhere between a joke and a pun and just some crazy shit he made up that uh, he never fails to slip into conversation. He gets them in there every single time, you know. Surely you don't mean that. I do mean that. Don't call me Shirley. You know. Hey, what time you got? 2.30. Ooh, dead this time. You know what I mean? And everybody's thought process, when you're having a conversation, generally goes from A to B to you get to C. Well, how do you get to C? But A and B, they may not show up. So it's like a puzzle when you, you know, you're talking to them sometimes. And if you're having a real, like, in-depth conversation, you know, and maybe going over a job of work or you, you, you're talking about something that you think is important and uh, Artie will look at you, yeah? No. Yeah? No. It's important to you, it ain't important to him, he's off in Artie land, you know. I remember being stretched out like, uh, you know, he's around a curve on the engine, maybe 20, 30, maybe a quarter mile away, who knows, and you're backing him up with a, a radio and a and a lamp, you know.
know, and you can hardly, visibility is not good, can't hardly see, and you, so you, you give them instructions, come east, come west, slow down, you know, whatever it is, but if, if you think for a second that maybe he might have missed one, or he's not reacting as quickly as you want, say, hey, Artie, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Blink your eyes if you can hear me. You know, that kind of shit. Just, you don't have to be around him. You just got to think about him or, you know, he gets into your brain. Next thing you know, you're thinking about him. Your mind gets to go on a little 20 minute vacation. And you're singing like, you know, quirky songs like this. Well, you got your dead cat and you got your dead dog on a moonlit night. You got your dead 